the arms. The muscle group which everyone wants to get big. And the muscle group which I've always struggled to increase size on. Genuinely, I tried everything. From different workout programs, different exercises, different sets, different rep ranges, everything. And they still used to be one of my most lacking muscle groups. But now I'm really happy to say that they're one of my best. I want to be honest, I don't know specifically how big my arms were back here. If I had to guess, I'd say around 10 inches. Okay, and here are my arms now, before a pump. That is dead on 15 inches. So that's before the pump. Let's see how big they are after the pump. That is 15.8, 15.8 inches with a pump. So I'd say overall my arms have gone from 10, 11 inches to 15, 16 inches, but it really didn't start like that. I wanna share with you guys today what I did wrong to build my arms and what worked really well for me. One thing I do just quickly wanna say before this video starts, and I haven't mentioned this in my videos before, but just for new viewers to come in, when I make these types of videos, I'm not saying that I'm like the biggest guy in the room. I'm not saying that I'm big at all, really. I'm just trying to give advice from someone who's maybe in your perspective where you're not a genetic freak. In fact, I'm less than that, I'm pretty under average when it comes to genetics and i'm just going off of what has worked well for me that i just wanted to quickly clear that up i know a lot of you guys know this but just for new people who come into the channel i always like mentioning that let's get on with the video Firstly, what did I do wrong? Why for so long were my arms not growing at all, even though I was focusing on them so much? What was I doing for so long which just wasn't progressing my arms? Now, there's many factors to this, but there are a couple detrimental ones. The first being the most detrimental. I was dedicating a whole day every week to just training arms. This would mean that every week on one session, I would do nothing but biceps and triceps, aka an arm day. Now, your reaction may be, surely that's good though. You're adding loads more volume, that's gonna increase your arm size, and that was the theory which I went off <laughs> but my arms didn't grow and the main fact for this is you can only train your arms so much when I went in on my arm days I'd do like five different exercises on just the bicep five different exercises on just all the triceps that's 10 exercises and it's completely pointless this is due to the fact that the arms aren't that big of a muscle group the excessive amount of volume I used to do with them on my old arm days will not give out any substantial rewards compared to if you only did about two or three exercises in total for the triceps and biceps like what I do now not only was the arm day very very pointless and it was wasting times where I could be training other stuff it also affected my workouts the next day the day after let's say I trained arms on Wednesday and then on Thursday I had some sort of pressing movements my triceps would already be super fatigued and I did notice that this negatively impacted my performance on the sessions after so no good came from it so to summarize I thought that smashing one big arm workout once a week was the best way to grow my arms and in reality it was not at all and it resulted in my arms not really growing so what did I do to change this? I started by scrapping the one big arm workout a week and replaced it for multiple mini sessions at the end of a bigger workout. To be exact, I did full body three days a week and at the end of every one of these sessions, I did two different exercises for my arms. And trust me, this change from one large day a week to three mini days a week increased my arm size more than it had ever in such a short period of time. But what actual exercises did I see the most growth with? There were two main arm isolation movements which I did. Firstly, for biceps. Barbell bicep curls with an Olympic bar. Now, not only did I feel this the best with the tearing of the muscles, that mind-muscle connection, it's also very easy to see how you're progressing with this. I noticed there was a big correlation between the stronger I got my curls and the size of my biceps. So I started off with just curling the bar, which weighs 20 kg. And the aim for the weight I was doing was to get three sets of eight or more reps. When I could complete those sets and reps, I increased the weight by 2.5 kilos. When I could do at least 3 by 8 on that weight, I then increased even more by 2.5 kilos. So I was progressively overloading the lifts, and over time, my bicep curl just got stronger and stronger, and my arms got bigger and bigger. Increasing your strength on the bicep curl is a slow process, but I definitely think it was something which increased my arm size a lot compared to how I used to train. Now, personally, I'm just not a fan of using dumbbells for biceps and using and doing dumbbell curls in general. That's just personal preference. You may prefer it more. I personally find it harder to see how you're progressing with dumbbells compared to using a barbell as it's a lot easier to break your form when using dumbbells. Again though, that's just me. And you could be the complete opposite. You could much prefer dumbbells.
Now, the triceps is two thirds of the arm. And while I used to train biceps and triceps the same amount, now I add a bit more work to the triceps just due to them being a bigger muscle group than the biceps. The close grip bench. Without a doubt, the lift that I saw the most detrimental difference to my triceps when I started doing the slide. Oh, yeah, it also increased my bench a lot as well. Now, just like the biceps with the close grip bench, I was trying to progress my weight of the lift over time. So this would involve me doing close grip bench for three sets of eight. If I managed to do that with a certain weight I was at, I would increase the weight altogether by 2.5 kilograms. And so on and so forth, trying to just increase the weight as much as possible. Now after the bicep curls and the close grip bench, I would usually just do a couple sets of tricep extensions. I really feel the burn with these and I think they did help a lot. Now they're the lifts which I found the most progress with. But one thing that you need to not underestimate is the actual workout before the arm training. The heavy compound lifts such as the deadlift, the benching, the pull-ups, they're what I believe added the most size to my arms, increasing the weight of them. The isolation at the end helped, but it's all about these big compound movements which I think built the arms the best because when I started doing them, that's when I know it's a size has changed drastically. That's the video. I hope that can help some of you guys out. My arms aren't massive. I want to get them way bigger and I'm going to continue experimenting with different exercises, different rep ranges and I recommend you guys try that too because it's not the same for everyone. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Yo, what's up guys? Hope you're having a great day. Uh, as you can see, not that many people who watch the videos are actually subscribed to the channel. Uh, I'd really appreciate it if you could just hit the subscribe button. Yeah. Cheers guys.